It frequently happens that we need to introduce some sort of a dummy variable which indicates a binary state of some variable. A dummy variable is also known as an indicator variable and it generally carries the values of 0 or 1 but it's not restricted to 0 or 1. You can name it what you like provided you remember what you have called it. We're going to illustrate this with a regression, a multivariate regression of some service company which has records of months since last service, the type of repair and how long it took for the repair to be done. So our dependent variable is the repair time and we also know the months since last service and the types of repair. What we are trying to find out is how much influence months since last service had on the repair time and whether or not we can include type of repair and whether or not that had any effect. Excel is a little troubling sometimes. Uh, we're going to need to have the independent variables contiguous. So I know that we're going to need to have months since last service here. So we're going to copy months since last service and place it here. Now, notice we have type of repair on the right. That's all right. We're going to convert that into a 0 or 1 in a minute. First of all, let's just run a regression of repair time with months since last service. Data, data analysis, regression. So our response variable is in column C repair time in hours. Months since last service is in D, so we make sure it has D1 to D11. Labels, because we want it to be called that, go OK. And so we get some output here. This looks interesting enough. Notice that the p-value here p-value is well below alpha, 0 0.016. So therefore we could reject the null hypothesis and this is significant. It's a significant regressor. So the slope is 0.3 and the adjusted r-squared is 0.3. 4759, which isn't particularly impressive. So we go back to our data. Let's convert type of repair into a dummy variable, see whether there's any difference here. So I call this column type dummy. Now we need to code electrical and mechanical with a 1 and a 0. So the formula in Excel is equals if and then we'll put elec here if LX, so click on LX just to tell the computer which column it should be starting to look for, equals, and then copy exactly in double quotes, equal ELEC, double quotes, and then comma, one, comma, zero. What this means is that if cell B2 equals electrical, change it to a one, Otherwise, change it to a zero. So it has indeed changed to a one. We drag it down and we find that we have a zeros against mechanical, etc. Now we have a binary 
independent variable which we can use in the regression. So this is another independent variable which may go to explain more of the variation in y, increasing our r squared. So let's run a regression now, including this variable. Back to regression. Okay. Our response variable, of course, hasn't changed. But now we have two independent variables, months since last service and the type dummy. So we can go D1, and then the range of variables goes down to E11. We have labels, etc. We'll go OK, and here is our output. So we can see that the months since last service and the type dummy still uh, have an attractive p-value. They're both significant. We also look at the f-test and uh, here we can see that we can reject the null hypothesis that all the slopes are zero. Just to look at the uh, regresses in a little more detail. Well, first of all, oh, what's happened to our adjusted R squared? Well, that's gone up very high. You recall before it was something like uh, 0.5, just below 0.5, but it's increased a lot to 0.81, so it's a 30% now difference between the two for including the uh, type of service. Now, you recall that we coded one for electrical, so therefore, one here, electrical, increase the service time by 1.26 hours, quite a lot. Now notice we can write these regression equations like this. Time equals the intercept 0.93 plus 1.26 times 1 if it is an electrical plus 0 0.39 times months. But wait, we also need to include something for mechanical. So the same slope goes to time 1.26. Remember, we still have the mechanical, but the dummy for mechanical is zero. So therefore, we can add it up. So time equals, now it's going to be It's going to be 0 0.93 plus 1.26. Do you see that? So it's going to be 2.16 is our new slope because 1.26 times 1 is 0 and 1.26 times 0 goes away. Plus 0 0.39 months. This is the new regression equation taking into account the time for the difference in the repair type. So include a dummy variable when you have some interesting effect which you can change into a yes or no. For example, you can include several different dummies. You don't have to restrict it to just one. It could be, for example, if we were running one on a farm, we could include a dummy variable for each different type or each different season.